Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Grand Central Station Disc Golf Course in South Carolina, Central South Carolina. We're going to be playing the MVP Axiom Challenge. I have three discs here. The Tesla, which I've been bagging for a little while. We have the Hex in Vision Plastic and we're going to be using the Glitch as a putter. Hopefully this goes well. Let's see how it plays out. First hole is 290. Slight downhill right there. Going to be throwing the Glitch. I may have forgot to mention, but we're going to be trying to do six holes for this challenge. And hopefully the battery lasts long enough for six holes. If the battery dies out a little bit before then, we may cut it short. I do hate to make excuses, but this was the first throw of the day and the first throw with this disc. Leaves us an upshot with the glitch. This hole is 360 out through this gap and then a little bit to the right. I'm going to try to get the Tesla on a little bit of a turn forehand. Hopefully it gets all the way up there. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but the basket's kind of up there just into the shadows. I'm going to try to forehand the hex. Maybe I can get it up there. get what I want to get with these discs I'm gonna to have to control the speed a little bit better because they do seem to glide a little bit further than I'm used to. Hole 3 is 270 it kind of goes out through here and then around to the right used to throw kind of a rock 3 slow panning shot but I might try to get around the corner with the glitch A little bit too high. I found a branch. Glitch again. Well, we're putting. Hole four is 440. You're going to go down this fairway and then up that cut area to the right. Finishing uphill. I'm going to try to forehand the Tesla. Oh man, that was looking so good too. I just pulled it a little bit. You can just barely see the basket right there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's going to be a tough shot from where I am on the right side of the fairway. Par 3 315 into that tunnel and then a little bit to the left. Gonna try to put the hex in there. This should be where the hex excels. That is one of the best drives I've ever had on this hole. And that's my first time throwing this disc. Maybe there's something to the hex. I don't think this is one of the best. I think it is actually the best drive I've ever had. And of 
course, I can't putt, so let's try with the hex. Maybe I should just switch to putting with a mid-range, y'all. Apparently putters don't work for me. Hole six, par four, the basket is directly under that other power pole. 610 feet. I don't think the hex can reach it. We're gonna go with the Tesla, get some good distance here. Oh yeah, the left side where the trees are, lost six, lost disc central and also OB. There's a little bit of a headwind and that Tesla definitely turned a little more than I was expecting. Oh, don't go OB. Stay, stay in. I think that one stayed inbound. Still got plenty of room. We're not OB yet. We're not putting range. But we're not OB. <laughs> but it is parked. Yet again. Well, we didn't have the under par result that we really wanted from that challenge. However, I do really like some of these discs. The glitch is really great for some nice soft up shots. And I'm kind of liking that hex. It's got a lot of glide, a lot of control. And the Tesla is a really good forehand disc for me. My problem was I tried to throw out too many backhand holes. So let's just stick to it for the forehand. And until next time, guys, signing out.